everyone. Welcome to one of our other Bring the Zoo to You chats. Um, and today we're going to be talking about our ringtail lemurs. I'm an animal care specialist here. My name is Adelina. And with me today I have Manalia as well. And we have two of our lemurs here. Uh, we have, these are specifically, like I said, ringtail lemurs. Um, and these guys are two of our boys. And what we're doing is we're target training them. It's a behavior we do every day with them. Um, it's important because it stimulates their mind. Uh, we get a really good look at them. As you could see, Manelia, when she asked them to target up high, we can see um, we're looking closely to their eyes, we're looking closely to their hands. Um, and also, with the target, we can ask them to move to different locations in case we have to get their weights, as you can see here. And so when he does the behavior that we're asking, we actually say good, or we sometimes we bring a whistle as well. Um, and then when we say good, we give them the treat of a craisin. We have a total of four lemurs in our troop here. We have Butch and Moses, um, Dogwood and Ramses. And it looks like most of them are starting to come up. We have three right now, and then we're gonna get the fourth coming up okay. soon. Good. Good boy. All right, and here's our last one. Target? Good. So here's this little treat for doing that. So um, there's a good way to tell them apart. Um, this is Ramses. Target. And so I'm, uh, I've am i been working with them for quite a while now, so I can tell that Ramses is Ramses because he has the, has the darker eye circles. Um, and he is actually one of the older ones. He's about 13 years old. So that's a pretty good age for lemurs. These guys can live into their 20s, so he's still very young. And these guys are found in Madagascar, and that's the only place that they are endemic to, which means that that's the only place in the wild where they live. Um, and Madagascar has over close to 100 species of lemurs, and the ringtails are actually one of the most popular species, especially in zoos. Um, they are also the only terrestrial species of ringtail lemurs. Um, they're on the trees right now, but they actually spend about one third of the day um, on the ground. And then when they travel, they'll use, uh, they'll walk on the floor for about 70% of that time too. So they're very terrestrial. Um, but they are also made to live on the trees. So if you look at them, they have a really long tail. They'll use it for balance. They're really good jumpers, they're really good hoppers. Um, they'll um, leap from branch to branch. Um, and they have their, that tail is not prehensile like a lot of the um, primates that we see in South America. And um, they have a prehensile tail. These guys, they just use it for balance. Um, and then the hands too, they're used for grasping they'll be able to grab onto those uh, tree limbs and the camera as well pretty easily. And then they have a really good binocular uh, vision too, that they can, they have really good depth perception. So yeah, these are our ringtail lemur troop. They're very, very curious as you can see. Hand, that's another behavior we do too. Good boy. But these guys, so right now we were feeding them uh, craisins, which is just a special treat we give them. They also get apples. Um, earlier, you might see it around the exhibit, we also gave them uh, lettuce. They get a lemur biscuit. Let me see if I can grab some over here. So we have, I have some of the food over here. So we have a lemur biscuit that, um, this is made specifically for lemurs. It's a monkey chow. Um, these guys are primates. They are not monkeys, but they're in their own Fam or their own group called prosimians, but this is uh, for monkeys and I don't know if he'll take it. Um, it's not necessarily, he'll eat it usually after training because the training has the good sweet stuff, but that monkey biscuit actually cleans his teeth. So it kind of works similar to what your dog at home would do when that hard child will clean their teeth. Um, that does the same thing. They also uh, today got uh, green peppers. That's also part of their diet, but again, it's a uh, veggie. So uh, just like at home, maybe your kids would uh, leave that towards the end after they have their sweets, even though they should probably have that later. But yeah, these guys are, are pretty neat to have. Um, and they have a pretty interesting day. So right now we're training them. This is uh, a little earlier than usual. We usually train them after lunch. Um, but their day is, is uh, pretty uh, interesting. In the morning when they wake up, they'll usually go outside and bask. They uh, will kind of sit in like a yoga position and they'll soak up the sun 
that white part of their body will soak up the sun. Up on the tree limbs, they'll actually go outside, they have access to outside, and they'll warm up and they'll do, that's a very important thing that they do. Um, and then they'll actually huddle together and take uh, quite a few naps throughout the day. They are active during the day, that's called diurnal. Uh, but they do take a lot of naps and they like to huddle together and that way they, uh, they bond that way. Um, another way that they bond is by grooming each other. So they, you might see them do that when you come and visit. Um, they have a special grooming tooth, uh, it's called a tooth comb on the bottom teeth that they use to groom each other. Um, and they also have a special toe, on the second toe on the bottom feet that is uh, kind of like a claw because their other nails are flat nails just like um, we have, but that second claw on the back is called the grooming toe. So grooming is very important to establish their social bonds. Um, and these guys, we have four males, but in a wild society, um, there's usually about 15 lemurs is the average group size, and actually the females are the ones that are dominant. That would mean that the females um, kind of are the ones that stay in the group. Um, you're usually born into your lemur group if you're female, and you stay with your group for your entire life. The males are the ones that will kind of go off and find a different group. Um, and they are um, at the bottom of the hierarchy, which means females eat first, females get the best sleeping quarters. Um, and the males will kind of just, you know, just whatever is left to them, they're pretty happy with that. Uh, but here we don't have any females in our group, just uh, the four males, and they uh, get along pretty well. So it looks like we're about to finish our training here. We wrap it up. We try to finish at the same time so that there are no, um, there's no fighting with our lemurs. Um, one of the ways that they would fight is uh, actually very important for lemurs, for ringtail lemurs, is a stink fight. So what they do is that they have some scent glands. They have them uh, on their shoulders. They have some on their wrists. And they'll actually rub their tail with those scent glands, get it nice and stinky and smelly. Um, and then when they think it smells pretty bad, they'll actually flick their tail at the uh, lemur that they're fighting. So it's usually done by males and they'll like flick that stink to each other. Now these guys are, um, have been together for a long time, so they're pretty comfortable with each other. So we don't necessarily see that stink fighting as much, um, but just like brothers, you know, they sometimes will have misunderstandings, so they might have a stink fight here and there, but they um, have been pretty, pretty good to each other. They're very nicely bonded. Um, but our wingtail lemurs are here. They're found at the Hamill family play zoo. Um, so when we are open, you can come and see them from the outside. Um, okay. And they are also part of the share the care. So if you would like to um, help our lemurs directly, your funds actually will come and help us take care of our lemurs. Um, so that pretty much wraps up our bringing the zoo to you chat. And thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.